Remember in our last module, I mentioned that a vector file could have unlimited features. Each one of those features is going to be rendered on your map. However, when you try and render a very large number of features on your map, the performance of the map is degraded. That's because when you try and pan or zoom your map, every one of those features has to be re-rendered. Vector features are rendered on the client side, unlike tiles and images, which are rendered server side. To get around this problem, Open Layers introduces a concept called clustering. So here we have the clustered features example on the Open Layers website. You can see that we have a map and then these circles with numbers inside of them, ranging from about 100 to over 700 for some of the circles. Those numbers identify how many features are within the radius of each one of those circles. So for example, the circle in the very top right, located over the Suez Canal, has 717 features inside of it. And that's a lot of stuff to draw. If we drew all the features for that circle plus all the others, we'd have thousands and thousands of individual geometries that we need to keep track of and redraw every time we pan and zoom. And that's going to introduce some lag. So rather than try and draw them all, which you wouldn't be able to see very well anyway because they all be on top of each other, Open layers introduce the idea of clustering, which simply means taking features which are in close proximity and representing them by a single feature. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the 717 circle in the top right. And so here we can see all these new circles have been produced with smaller numbers in them. We zoom in again on this one, for example, that has 15, and again, more small circles with much lower numbers in them. So you can see this is how clustering works. As you zoom in, the features that are represented by the single feature at the lower zoom level are drawn at the higher zoom level. This allows us to work with the map without getting the delay that would be introduced from having to redraw thousands and thousands of features.